Hi girls and boys, it's Mrs Myers here with your phonic session. Right, we are going to recap one of the sounds that we know and then we're going to read and spell some words before we do our ditty work. Okay, when you see this side, you say yak, 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 yak. When you see this side, what do you say? Y, 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 y. Well done girls and boys. I am going to hide my y sound in my pack. And when you see it, I would like you to say, found you. Are you ready? S and z. E. K. J. Found you. I bet you spotted it before me. Caught me by surprise. What sound does it make? Y. Well done. Let's pop that back in the pack. Keep looking for it. Sh. U. O. Bucky, watching. Found you. Yeah. Let's pop it back in there again. Yeah. Found you. You keep sneaking in there. Ooh. And. Let's spread those sound cards about and then we can use them for building our words for reading in a moment. We are going to Fred talk some words with our Y sound in and I'd like you to tell me what you think the word is as I sound it out. You can shout it at me and see if I can hear. We're all the way over here. Are we ready? Our first word is Y A P. Y A P. Y A P. Yap. Well done if you got that one. Listen to my second one. Y, E, N. Y, E, N. Y, E, N. Yen. And my last one, listen carefully. Y, E, L. Y, E, L. Y, E, L. Yell. Well done, girls and boys. Did you hear any monster words in there? I think we have got yen as our monster word. I think it might be a currency somewhere, but I'm not sure. I would have to double check because I made that up as my monster word today. If I'm incorrect, adults can correct me on my tapestry, can't they? If they know what the yen is. Are we ready? Let's build our first word that we are going to use our cards for. Can you put your three fingers in the air? Put your sticky glue on. First word. Yeah. Et. Yet. Can you build yet for me, please? Have a look at all your cards, get your sounds. And when you've done it, come back and show me three Fred fingers. Let's pop it on our Fred fingers. Yet. Et. What's that first sound? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Let's listen for our second sound. Yet. Eh, eh, eh for egg. Super work. And my final sound. Yet. Eh. For tower. Let's sound it out and whoosh our finger to blend it. Y, E, T, yet. Well done, everybody. Pop your sound cards back. Show me three Fred fingers for my next word, which is yaz. Y, A, Z. Y, A, Z. Girls and boys, can you build the word yaz for me now, please? Find all your cards. And when you have finished, show me three fed fingers. And let's put our sounds on here and check we've got the right ones. Y, A, uh, Z. What's that first sound? Y, Y, Y for yak. Well done. Our second sound. Y, A, A, A for apple. And my third sound is Y, A, uh, Z for zip. Whoops, can you see it? Let's sound it out and blend it together. Y, A, uh, Z. Yes. Well done. Can we say it in a whisper? Yes. Yes. Let's pop our sound cards back. And now we are going to do our final word, which is yip. Does that sound like a real word to you or a monster word? Shall we build it and then decide? Are we ready? Yip. Y. I. P. Y. I. P. Can you go and build the word yip for me, please? And then decide what you think it is. 
You can have a discussion with your grown-up if you want and decide between you. Are we ready? Y, E, P. What's this first sound? Ah, Y, Y, Y. Well done. What's my second sound in my word? Y, E, I, I, I for insect. Great. And my last sound, Y, E, P for pirate. Let's sound it out. Y, E, P, Yip. Say it in a really, really high-pitched voice. Y, E, P, Yip. Does that sound like a real word or a monster word? I think it is a monster word. <sighs> Got that one in there, didn't we? Right. We are going to spell some words. So you need your boards or your paper and your three Fred fingers with your extra sticky glue on. Are you ready? I'm going to put my sticky glue on. My first word is going to be chap. Are we ready? Ch-a-p. Ch-a-p. Can you have a go at writing the word chap and then unpause your video? When you have done it, can you tell me what sounds are in chap? App. My ch special friend. Well done if you got that one right. You go curling around the caterpillar, egg to hoof, and over its back, and we put a line in one sound button because it just makes one sound, doesn't it? What's that next sound? Ch a a a for apple. Round the apple, up the stem, and down the leaf. And let's have a look at that last sound. Ch a p for pirate. Down his plat up around his face and pop one sound button there because he only makes one sound. Are you ready? Ch -a -p chap. Can you say it in a whisper? Ch -a -p chap. Well done. Clean your board. When you have cleaned your board, show me your three Fred fingers and I will tell you your next word to spell. It is ring. Ready? Like a ring on your finger. Or you can ring the doorbell, can't you? Or you can ring the telephone. It's got lots and lots of different ways and meanings. Are ready? Er, e, ng. Er, e, ng. Can you go and spell the word ring now, please? And when you have done and unpause the video, can you show me three fed fingers? And we will check how to spell ring. Er, e, ng. What's that first sound? For robot, we go down the robot and over its arm and pop your sound button there. Next sound. Brr, i, i, i. Well done, i for insect, everybody. And the last sound. Brr, i, mm. Now that's that mm, special friend down Nobby and over the net. Round the girl's face, up past her earring, down her hair and give it to girl. And put your line and one sound button so you know that is a special friend that just makes one sound. Let's sound it out. R -e -n ring. Can you say it in a sad voice? R -e -n ring. Well done. Can you clean the boards? And for our last word, I want you to show me three fed fingers and we've got another special friend that we need to practice again with today. Okay, and we do practice them quite a lot just so we are using them all the time and recalling those sounds that we know what they look like, okay? With oo, i, z, oo, i, z. Can you go and spell the word with girls and boys now? When you've done it, come back and show me three Fred fingers. Oo, i, z. What's that first sound? Ooh, so make to form our ooh, we go down, up, down, up. Come and put your sound button there. What's the second sound? Ooh, i, i, i. So we do our it for insect. And our last sound, ooh, i, z. Can you remember how to go z, special friend? We go down the tower, across, head to hoof, and over its back. I'm going to put a line and a dot because I know that it is my special friend. Let's hand it out. Ooh, e, z, with. Well done. Right, clean your boards if you've got your boards. And we are going to learn what ditty we have got today. Okay, let me check. We have got the ditty. Snap, snap. So remember, girls and boys, speed sounds. Don't forget those vowel sounds at the bottom. 
green and red words and if you find your red words tricky you can always find time to practice them they are in your stars in your reading wallets we gave you in september and then make sure when you are reading the story you read the sentence twice the first time you'll probably have to sound it out and see what it says and the second time you need to use your story for teller's voice don't you so your sentence today is five words and it's quite a tricky one it is six rats in red hats. Now rats and hats today are a tricky, quite tricky words to sound out. Six rats in red hats. Let's tap it. Six rats in red hats. Six rats in red hats. Let's wave it in the air. Six rats in red hats. Put it in your head. Six rats in red hats. Stick it on your finger. Stick six rats in red hats let's pop it on our board remember we need our capital letters our finger spaces and our full stops so what is my first word in my sentence are you ready six rats in red hats six so i need three sounds this then six so i need a capital letter to begin my word six. Six. Well done. Six. And that's how we spell six. Sometimes girls and boys, instead of using the x, I've had girls and boys that use try and put the k, k sound at the end of six. Because sometimes it sounds similar, doesn't it? But remember today, it is our k this sound that goes at the end, okay? Six rats in red hats. Six rats. Before we spell rats, we need our finger space. And rats today has got four sounds. R, A, T, T, S. This sound tries to hide and sometimes people put ras because they miss out our T. So listen carefully. R, A, T. Can you nod on the t so you hear it? R a t s. R a t s. Let Mrs. Myers write rats here. So we've got r a t. And then your s. Well done, read what we've written. Six rats. What's the next word? Six rats in red hats. Six rats in. In. So you put my finger space, two sounds. I, n, and I've got room just here to fit it in at the end. Oh, my pen's going on the blink. I, n, read what we have got. Six rats in. Six rats in red. Three sounds. R, ed. R, ed. Red. Now I need to start a new line because I've not got much room left. We ready? R, ed. Let's read what we've got. Six rats in red. What's that last word? Six rats in red hats. Now hats is a bit tricky like rats because the t sound hides. Are we ready? Let's nod on the t. At. And again. At. Ready? Let's, spell, let's pop it here. Let's put our finger space. At. And what do we need at the end? A full stop. Let's check we've got five words. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's read and check that it says what we think it says. Six rats in red hats. <gasps> we are so clever today to be able to write our sentence. Let's clap it one more time. Six rats in red hats. And again, six rats in red hats. Put it in your head. Six rats in red hats. Hold it in your head so that you can have a go on your own. Your adult is there if you need a little bit of help. Try and do it as much as you can on your own. And remember, you've got to hold it in your head. Remember your capital letters, your finger spaces and your full stops. And I look forward to seeing your work on Tapestry later. Okay, everybody, have a lovely day. See you later. Bye.